The 2021 bull season was a great one for me. When this guy started showing up on the camera, I couldn't have been more excited to get in my stand and try and take him. Here's his story. Here are some of the brands I support when out bow hunting.
Well, like I said, we're just gonna walk back to the truck. Beautiful night out, clears the bell. Good blood on the arrow. He made a heck of a whomp when I hit him, but I don't wanna push him. I wanna make sure that he can go lay down and expire. So I got about only five, 10 minutes from home here. So I'm just gonna enjoy my walk out and uh, we'll get some extra lights and stuff. By that time, hopefully give him some time to lay down and die and then we can get to the, the fun work. But anyway, pretty, pretty awesome. There was two other bucks with him. One nice five by five and a little four pointer. He was actually in the front of the two of them. And uh big old gray face. He was looking at some does out in the grass. And so he was just kind of common and I drew and I think you'll see on the video, I think it's a really good heart shot. Good blood right to the fletching. And looks like heart blood too. So pretty good chance he's only 100 yards or less in there, but like I've done before when I was younger, especially you always get anxious and want to get in there and find them. And sometimes you push them and you don't find them if you don't hit them quite right, if they don't die right away. Buck, a white tail buck, especially he's got a heck of a will to live. So it's always best to let him lay down for a while. It's cooling off tonight. It's going to freeze again. So, so he'll get cold and stiffen up. And like I said, he's, he's likely dead now or hope he is anyway. Uh, but stay tuned. Uh, good morning, everybody. We uh, <clears throat> went in on his trail last night, a couple hours after I'd hit him. And good blood. And potentially uh, towards the end, um, we had bumped him a little bit. But he wasn't moving far. He was obviously hurting. Any other deer would have run out of the county. But I think he was on his last legs, but it was getting to be pretty late and thought we better just leave him overnight <clears throat> which we maybe should have done in the first place but that's the way she goes so hopefully uh this morning we get back on him and find our dead deer well i got the locators here we uh, left him about 10 o'clock last night and he went about maybe a hundred yards from where we had last kind of hurt him and we knew he was hurt but it's just never a good idea to push them too hard especially these big bucks because they're just tough and they can i've seen them run for miles bleeding like crazy you wonder where they get the the drive to live but we have found him unfortunately um so did the coyotes last night looks like a bit I haven't put my hands on him but he's just just a few yards over here so we'll go and see him unfortunately we we are going to lose some meat but we could be able to salvage some so We'll take a look at them anyway, and we'll go from there. Well, everybody, and we found Thicket. Uh, story this deer goes back a couple years ago when my cousin Aaron one of the locators seen this guy likely in his prime a couple years ago and when he seen him at 300 yards he told me that dad or <laughs> Mike this thing has got a willow bush on his head now obviously this is a pretty cool deer super palmated but he's old he's uh, two years older than when we seen him last when Aram's seen him last, he likely would have been a 200 inch deer, but he's old and you can see by his, his gray face, this might've been his last year, but uh, fantastic opportunity to, to take a deer like this. You don't see many like this in the, in the bush, so uh, couldn't be happier. Uh, yeah, so anyway, um, he was close to where we had, we had seen him or heard him last night and um, yeah, super, Super pumped to at least find them. We did lose a bit of meat, but that's the way she goes sometimes. At least we found them, and he uh, 
he wouldn't have suffered long after we had uh, last heard him last night so anyway here he is pretty cool palmated buck you're not going to see too many like this but uh anyway we got him and uh pretty pretty pumped about this bow kill so anyway take care everybody A big thank you and I love you to my wife Kelly for stumbling around in the bush looking for a thicket in the middle of the night the night before we retrieved him. She's not a big fan of that. Big shout out to Caitlin Fortnat from Pipestone Taxidermy who got my buck back in record time and did a fantastic job. Congratulations to my buddy Howard Lewis who shot this beautiful 5x5 buck in the same area. This was a buck that I actually missed with my bow and arrow. Just shot over his back as he jumped the string about a week before I took thicket. Thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe to The Locators Outdoors.